time. It's fortune these days. Well, we've got quite a few to uh, mull over. Let's start with an old favourite. We haven't played it for a while. Uh, it didn't take me long to find this one. You and this boxing sign, whatever you're called, right? You see you. You must be the most bored man on planet Earth because what you do is you sit and talk about what the fuck I do. Remember this, right? What you talk about, I do. I do it. You talk about it. I do it. So that gives me the right to say whatever I want about what I do. It doesn't give you the right because you don't do it. Now, if you show me a video of you doing it and doing it at the level I do it at, then maybe you can have a say. But remember this. I fight. You watch. It's that simple. That's all it's about. I fight. You watch. No one gives a shit about what you say or what you do. But they give a shit about me because I fight. I don't watch. Simple as that. Your podcast isn't worth a carrot. I don't give a shit what you say, what you do. If you've got something to say to me, I'm not hard to find. I'm usually on the front row of boxing events. Come and say hello, or come and say to me what you'd say to me on your daft podcast. But remember this, I get more views with a fart than what you get with a two-hour podcast. On that note... Two-hour podcast, try three hours, you fucker. I don't, I, I don't think anyone ever accused him of being hard to find either, by the way. <laughs> Come on, Anthony, get some money in the Super Chat pledges of your tight cunt. <laughs> oh, what a legend, old Anthony there. Uh, popping up the value of the week with his little uh, theme. Right, let's get into the ones the boys have sent in. Starting off with you, Matty. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Where'd you find this? I've tried, uh, oh yeah, the Supreme Boxing <laughs> Facebook page. I uh, put together like a, a fight like... early for the Canelo Macabu fight, um, which um, I don't even know how to fucking Does describe what Macabu looks like. <laughs> it, again, it looks like African photo card as we fucking went into last Look week. Look at that forehead, man. It's all wash ambition. What? What? Who? Which Macabu is this? That's a five head. A five head. <laughs> Right. The size of that forehead. I don't know, man. It looks like a promo poster for Canelo about the end world hunger or something. I don't, I don't really know what the fuck is going on in it. <laughs> <laughs> Get the eyes, man. Something's having a go with that one. Folks really need to. Book. Folks really need to go to the YouTube and watch this one. And uh, if you're, if you're usually a, an audio only listener, we got some good viewing material this week. This Macubo, one is classic. The Makubu one looks like a photo fit. That you do for police identification or something. Like an artist sketch of Makubu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Computer generated. Makabu even. Tony oh, Yakubu. That's oh, who it is. Makabu, that's what happened after you got iced by the bomber. That's what that, what can happen to you, Rob. This is it. Do what? Anyway, uh, Dan Lucy has um, shared this with us. Uh, on the weekend that we saw Kubrat Pulev going in against Frank Mir and all the other freak shows in the Triangle Ring, which we will get to soon, he said, I wanted to highlight a niche the nutters can sink their teeth into. Pillow Fighting, uh, that's Pillow Fighting Championship on Fight TV. He's streaming its first pay-per-view live event from Florida on the 29th of January. Uh, sink your teeth into a bit of Pillow Fighting there, Andy, on, on Fight TV. Ooh. Can't he wait for that, mate? I mean, Christ, there's nothing we'll put on pay per view these days. What kind of we'll pillows put... are we talking here? Can we just put cockfighting on fucking pay per view now as well? <laughs> no? Is there going to be a dispute over the pillows, like with the gloves? Like, is there going to be feather pillows versus foam pillows? Or is anybody ever just turning up with our tits out for a change? This is it. This is what I, want. I need to know what's going on on Fight TV. I'm going to have to tune in. Florida, anything goes. Uh, the pillow fighting on Fight TV. Triller might or might not be involved. Uh, Boxing UK were interviewing Dennis Hobson. Hobson said, let's take on Canelo or Terence Crawford. De- Dennis Hobson wants the big names to step up and fight his new world champion, uh, IBO King Jack Massey. Uh, he also <laughs> called Eddie Hearn the boohoo man and spoke about the success of Fight Zone TV and making champions on the weekend Fight, fight Zone. Cancelled a show, Rob, due to the snow. Look, at, I think everybody needs to get on Twitter and send their duck emojis to Terence Crawford and Canelo. What, step up with you and fight fucking Jack Massey. Massey Ferguson. What the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> Terence Crawford. Or Canelo. This fella's, well, how many weights is he fighting at? He's fucking, he's not afraid to go up and down anyway. Jack yeah. Massey, one, two, three. Get off, get off your fucking 
Stop hiding and come out and fight Jack Massey. Jack oh, Massey dear. sounds like someone who owns a car de- dealership. You know, come down to Jack Massey Chevrolet for the best deals today. Well, that, that actually fits in quite well, Matty, because they've had a few uh, shows in the car park, so maybe Jack Massey could flog a few motors in between yeah. rounds. <laughs> there you go. Sell some new electric vehicles and pimp out the charging station. He sets, up, he sets up the light. He sets up the lights on the generators first, and then he fucking gets in the ring, has a fight, like calls out Terrence Crawford and Canelo. <laughs> Crawford has some car issues as well. Maybe he can get the car service for fucking Terrence Crawford <laughs> and tie him into that fight. <laughs> Uh, we love an advert around here. We have got oh, one coming God. up from Floyd later on, but Rob has sent yes. me this one from uh, AJ, first of all. What's AJ advertising? Life can be hard. What matters is that we face our challenges with positivity every day. As the pressure builds, wind your centre. Take time to reflect on the setback. Learn the lesson, wind your flow. As you begin to write your comeback, remember... Obstacles don't stop us. They show us the way. Feel the love, the flow, the freedom. I invested in love him. CBD kid out. CBD mate. CP fucking day. I was going to say as well, he's actually unfollowed everybody. I mean, everybody apart from his sponsors on IG and on Twitter. His interview in IFL was absolute car crash material and that is... He's having a meltdown. Go to be. If you look very closely on the slow mo replay, that you can just see Anthony Fowler sticking his head out from the side of the heavy bag. <laughs> He's selling that <laughs> CBT as well. <laughs> Love him. Yeah. And remember, <laughs> obstacles don't stop you. They just fucking show you the way. Try fucking saying that in the middle of the night. You fucking burst your fucking toe off the fucking yeah. <laughs> in the, in the oh, dark. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be for some sports beverage or something with electrolytes. I, I was totally caught off guard there at the end. The, the only thing he didn't do though, he didn't go full Fowler and say that it cures cancer. Oh, well, not yet. You never know. That could be coming soon. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, here we are. <laughs> Nomination. Uh, Des Watson for Lopez Senior. It was an easy fight, and T.O. won 10 rounds, says Lopez Senior. <laughs> There's the face of a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, mate. Aye. I won 10 too. Fucking hell. Uh, here we go. Uh, Ricky Gravel sent this one in. Sam Wheatland. I thought my crush couldn't get better. Was a pleasure, Ebony Bridges. Such a lovely woman and recognised me. Well, I don't think if, that was, if that's a bad thing. Such a dream. Until next time. P.S. Think we look good. Sam, have yeah. a good time in the sports bar. Shoot your shot, that baby. One. That's what you got to do. you got to fucking take your chances. It's not going to come around every day in a week that you're going to get your fucking shot with Ebony Bridges. Put the shit out there in the universe. You look good together. Maybe it can happen. You know what I mean? What's he going to do? Me? Chin fucker? I don't know, but he came dressed as one of the Blazing Squad. Maybe she's not into that. I don't know. I mean, talking about chins, man. That's a wash ambition and chin, that one. I could trip out that one. Jesus, man. Yeah, yeah. And your man's as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Good on him, man. He looks like he had fun at the Bunches, Bridges Boxing Brunch the there. Question, the question remains is, did they go home? And finish a job on his on on, on himself, or did he go to the toilet <laughs> in the venue in there? Well, <laughs> did he raise he probably, the phoenix? He, he's probably better off because Jay can't. <laughs> but Bunsy's probably there, cut out of the photo, isn't he? On the right hand side, just get rid of Bunsy there. I think. Actually, it occurred to me, Andy, whenever I was looking up, uh, this up during the week, I've actually been in the sports bar in Cannock many moons ago. I uh, watched Floyd Mayweather against Demarcus Corley there. That's going back well, a few years, isn't it? I'm actually going to watch that fight tomorrow, believe it or not, mate. As really? Part of, uh, as part of our... Um, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, Diego Corrales, yeah. the, the punter for the past. Yeah, there yep, you go. So, aye, chop, so. chop. What a, what a guy, by the way. Very exciting <sighs> fighter in his day. No Ebony Bridges there though, Matt, uh, Rob. That day, no Ebony. No, it's a custom I'm watching them all. That's who it is. I don't know I don't if know that's lucky. Question. I don't know if that's lucky for you or her. To... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of Floyd, he's back and he's advertising. I'm not really sure what he's advertising. He's advertising something wow. anyway. Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday. Everybody is shopping right now. It's Black Friday, but what I need you to do, the women as well as the men. Men, no women, women, Fashion Nova, go to the website. I don't care where you got to go get the gear at. Go get Fashion Nova for women, Nova for men, Black Friday. It's only right to wear black. Money man, you already know the rest. Yeah, we do. We do. It's, <laughs> Thanks it's for that, all Floyd. day. 
I like the I like the start of it. It's very poetic. It's like when fucking in that episode of Fresh Prince when Jeffrey was doing the poetry. Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday. Cannon to the left of him. <laughs> he, he he does pretty well on these things for somebody who can't read cu- who can't read cue cards. I mean, well, that's why he's fucking ad libbing every ad because he can't read the fucking cue cards. Well, I know. Black Friday, he's... Black Friday, Black Friday. Buy this shit. He's, Money he's, made. He's like, what am I? What day is it? There's the ad. He literally gave no information in that advertisement. What are you supposed to do? Who's he advertising? Oh, I'd be looking for a refund if I was them. Steve, no way to Steve get the fucking fashion over tracksuit now. We can't find what? the link. <laughs> I don't even know what he was saying. It felt like an interior design commercial. You have to follow beginning. somebody, Matty. Do, do I follow someone who follows you or follows him? Or was that last week? I can't remember. I don't that know. Last I, week. I'm just, just finished being push ups this week. <laughs> oh my god. Floyd, anyway, yeah, keep keep them coming, Rob. Uh, hopefully Floyd will be back again next week. Uh, right, what have we got here then? Uh, boxing scene reported. Joshua felt Wilder lacked a proper game plan in Tyson Fury's trilogy. Uh, Tyson Fury himself said, irony of this mug. Then Luke Grenside said, to be fair, win or lose, at least Joshua isn't afraid to fight anyone, which is more than could be said for Tyson and Wilder put together. Clearly ducking white, and he will end up fighting Caboyel, the worst opponent in the WBC rankings. So there you go then, Matty. Um, Joshua isn't afraid to fight anyone. Uh, Tyson, Fury and Wilder are off busy fighting each other three times, the pussies. Yes, a bunch of pussies delivering us one of the best trilogies that we've seen in the past quarter century. Those sons of bitches, you know, uh, you know, the, between them, they hadn't basically cleared out the heavyweight division. Sans Joshua, who, uh, you know, ran into Usyk and who ran into fat Anthony, Andy Ruiz. Um, but that was just an uh, obstacle showing him the way, dude. Don't be fucking. That's why he ran into them. It was just obstacles to show you the way. Come on. He's got the hemp now. Although I don't think that's going to make him any more urgent in the rematch. To be honest with you, if you're a world championship level fighter, the only time that Andy Ruiz should get in your way is in a sprint to the buffet. Mm. Well, who, he's the guy that ruined the buffet, Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz. No one's eating at the top table now after Andy. John Candy involved. reference there, guys, for the no, The late, fucking, the late no. John Candy. Uh, right, uh, Mohammed Mia has nominated this one. The Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury press conference descends into chaos. <laughs> the John Fury goes at it with Jake, exchanging wild insults <laughs> while Tommy and Tyson watch. Oh, did I? Even, oh, yes, ah, here we are, boys. Don't worry. I got. It. I managed to get it cut in the end. It was some going, but I managed to get it cut. Here we go. You fucking dumbass. What's that? Back in the UK with your smelly shit. What did you say? Listen, you know now you're swearing now. You know when Tommy knocks you out, don't you? He's going to bend your girlfriend over and do her like a dog. In front of you. Lonnie. So I'm telling you straight. You're, 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 you're cringing. That's all where you're coming from. You are, you you are, are a dumb cringe man. You're a dumb dumb man. You're a dumb dumb man. You're a dumb Square- oh, he missed the best bit of square up to tell Conor McGregor style there, by the way. That was just, like teleporting stuff, you know. Not my side uh, piece. I had a joke. I got it. I leave it to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get cancelled like John Fury yeah. on BT Sport. Rob. Look, he's gonna do it like a dog in front of you. Fucking hell, that's just a real extreme. Just having a fight, like it's fucking hell. Which dog, Johnny Nelson's dog? Who? What's Molly May think of all this? Just to bring the handyman room. You know, and it's amazing that this actually surprises us in any way, shape, or form. And I mean, because they're all trying to, you know, they're all trying to punch up at Mike Tyson talking was about a... stomping on ch- on children's testicles and things there of was, that nature. There was a good, there was a good, <laughs> there was a good value of the week worthy quote from Tommy in there as well because he accused Jake Paul of living off his brother's name. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh good old Tommy. Uh, John Fury nominated there. Uh, Shuey has nominated Wasserman Boxing. He said, look at the third pick. A gentleman, <laughs> not in such good shape down there. Uh, Tim Boxeo levels, uh, whoever that guy is. Uh, Wasserman Boxing enjoying themselves anyway. They were the, the development series kicking off tomorrow night on Boxing Social. And Fight TV didn't catch any of it, Andy, and if you managed to see it. <laughs> Him. <laughs> So all just, right, they're wrong. I was just thinking, you know what would have made that press conference a lot better? If the fucking satellite link had cut off Jake Paul and just Mickey T.O. and Parky were on the fucking other side. <laughs> <laughs> Big John Fury squared up <laughs> to the telly. What the fuck is Cali wearing, man? Cali has to walk like, walk and he just came off the fucking... Oh, he's going to shoot or ferrets or something. Or <laughs> fox something. Oh, dear. Cali, yes. Uh, next one, Dominic Henry has nominated... Uh, well, Michael Montero tweeted out... Oh dear, uh, Don Trello's awful scorecard of 114-113 to Tiafomo Lopez is overruled by two correct scorecards of 115-111 and 115-112 for George Cambosos Jr., the new undisputed lightweight champion of the world. Respected George Don Trello getting it tough there. We support Don. 
and all of his boxing endeavours, of course. We're not going to endorse that one. Uh, right, what have we got here? Let's have a look here. Then another one from you, Rob. This is uh, Amir Khan and David Hay backstage at the Sky <laughs> Studios enjoying the Carl Foch versus George Groves uh, fight while uh, enjoying some uh, Mrs Doyle-style sandwiches. He's up for it. Rob McCracken was saying that's one thing we don't want. We don't want this fella getting a bridgehead and building some confidence. Can a tentative jab from Croach takes the right hand? He's not throwing the jab with confidence for it. He's struggling with the range of the... Oh! <laughs> Great. Now, now Andy is fully erect. I hope you're Ooh. happy, Steve. <laughs> oh, Boxer, giving us the content that we all need. Uh, Declan, again, who threw in a question earlier. He said, here's one for Belly of the Week on DAZN. They have an ad talking about Game Changed, listing a load of world champions, leg- legends, top-level fighters like Mayweather, De La Hoya, Canelo, Katie Taylor, Warrington, Galahad, etc. And Campbell fucking Hatton. Fuck's sake, says Declan. <laughs> well, that is the game changed. If that's legends. Uh, uh, I guess they're going in descending order, mate. Oh, you never know. Never know what he might turn out to be, Matty. Could be a legend. No, I'm making here. What? It's a well. fuck. It's a fucking hole. <laughs> Want to turn out to be anything. Sorry for the champions. And he seems I, like a lovely lad. He's got it to fuck all. I think uh, it would have been better off learning how to play darts with his dad in the pubs. I, I, he would have been a much better future. He could have gotten. He told darts. Mason's he told darts. He told darts. He told darts and drink Guinness out. <laughs> I don't uh, think fighting is going to work out for Campbell Hatton. I think that's one generation and done for the Hatton family. Well, he might make a few quid along the way. Dominic Henry, I think it was Dominic who tagged me in on this one. Uh, Dillian White clearing things up about the uh, ill, the uh, oh, what is it, the injury that he got to the shoulder? I think it was the shoulder, wasn't it, Dillian got? Before he's supposed to fight Otto Wallin. He's cleared things up anyway, as Dillian. And they told me, you know, if you fight, you're going to risk your career. So, you know, what else am I going to do? It's a shoulder injury, yeah? What's, uh, yeah. Have you, have you, is it your rotator cuff? Is that what you've torn or something? No, you know, obviously, I, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I don't want to go into too much details about it, but obviously, there'll, there'll be a full statement and stuff. Go out and explain everything, you know. Where's the evidence? You know, where's the evidence? You know, where's the evidence? I think most most people would post some kind of X-ray. Like- <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Larry yeah, David. <laughs> <laughs> New season of Carb, by the way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But yeah, get a life making those fucking videos, will you? Whenever my people say. I think it was Sir Fitzgerald on Twitter who made it, but Dominic who uh, tagged me in. Thank you for that one. Zeconomics nominated Tony Bellew. Uh, Bellew spot on before the big fight on the zone. Uh, but regarding George Cambosos, there's a lot of that's a lot of nervous energy he's using right there, Cambosos. You've got to stay relaxed in these kind of moments during fight week. Save that energy because believe me, you're going to need it come Saturday night. <clears throat> Hashtag Lopez Cambosos, uh, the bomber, not liking his chances there. Oh, here we go, Andy. Here's a good one. Greg Cross has thrown this one in. Uh, Be ready, you little piece <laughs> of shit, says Tio Senior. Yes. Here is Tiofimo Lopez Senior losing his mind at Josh Taylor for over a minute. Oh, dear. I wasn't able right. to cut this one, but I did get another one. But basically, he's going in on Josh Taylor, according to this. Be, be ready, you piece of shit, and all this type of thing. This was, this, remember, his son actually said, oh, I'll fight Josh Taylor, just knowing the UK, though. You know, so, again, yeah, I think Taylor would absolutely fucking, you know, he would bless him big style, mate. He would baptise him to the point that God would actually need to intervene on him. Fucking, based off last night's performance, man, Josh Taylor would have fucking murdered him. Uh, might happen. Uh, Tia Fimo as well, Andy, you sent me this one. I did manage to cut this one. Oh. Now, we have seen some great levels of delusion and heard oh. from some great delusionists over the years on this podcast, but this is oh. after the fight with Cambosa from Lopez. Oh. This is next level levels of delusion. And this is not going to stain my son. It's going to stain him because now we can't say we're better than Floyd Mayweather because now Floyd's going to say we got that, you know what I'm saying? We got that loss. And then... Um, and, and and listen, it doesn't really matter. He's the people's champ. Everybody's gonna fill out the arenas for him, you know. And that's all I, that's all I'm concerned about, you know. Uh, the people know who won that tonight, and it doesn't matter what the judges said. We won tonight, and and, and, and this bullshit loss, because it's a bullshit loss. And I should have never fought with the zone. I should have stood with um, top rank. 
because those are the people that really love us. And, 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 and I learned, you learn from your mistakes, you know what I'm saying? So we go back with Top Rank and um, two pay-per-view fights next year and then um, an ESPN fight. I mean, everybody know what happened. Okay, just upset. They booed the they booed the decision in the Madison Square Garden. So we just gonna keep on living and 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 and, and, and do big fights and selling out arenas like we did t- tonight, you know. And we sold out the Madison Square. We sold out the Madison Square Garden on, you know, on vaccination time. You know what I'm saying? When you gotta you gotta be vaccinated to get inside. So. Um, <laughs> Next level delusion. I tell you what, Andy, it's some feat to look, be the biggest dickhead on camera when there's a fella sitting there with Prince gloves in front oh, of him. Oh no, maybe listen, there was this. <laughs> he almost stole it. But to be honest with you, man, that that that, that was a crackpot. Yeah, that that one, <laughs> maybe that absolute fucking crackpot. What fucking bring back into the last year. <laughs> oh man, he was all over the place there too, man. Like that that guy's brain ain't functioning right. Yeah, I, I think he's riding that white pony. Yeah, fucking dreadful, mate. Absolutely dreadful. I mean, every time I see him speak, he's, he has got no redeeming quality. I remember listening, he was listening to an interview with him. He was talking about, like, the, uh, he had this, like, young lassie with him. I, I could, you, she couldn't have made it any older than eight, and he's motherfucking this and bastard and that and cunt this. I'm like, fucking Jesus, dude, calm down. But he's the one that talks all this shit, and his son's the one who's got to go, uh, go, to go and back it up, right? Oh, I've he's, got so much more to say about this. Garcia, he's going to ruin the son, isn't he? Like, he's mm-hmm. ruining the son. He's worse than Isaac Garcia, Isaac Garcia, man. Mm-hmm. Isaac Garcia, Isaac yeah. Garcia was able to cut it some way back it up to a but degree. Like he got, as, as I said, the senior basically is saying that if he stayed with top rank, um, the judges would have given him the, the decision last night. But because it was on the zone, they got fucked over. Who's advising this guy? His son, by him. Who's advising him? His fucking dad. Is that exactly. And that's what you're going to see down the line in his career because he's not going to get away from this fella, like... And now he's back with top, he's gonna go back to top rank and do two pay per views. Is he? This is the shit that he's coming out with. He was like, people's Bob's chat, Bob. People's chat, Bob's man. Up. They the decision. Bob's like, Bob's like, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you don't get no motherfucking pay per view. But Radio Raheem is sitting there letting him talk instead of saying, "Sorry, what? Vaccination time? What the it's, fuck does he, that mean?" He he must have. This is what I'm saying. Why do these people not fucking pull people up with this bullshit, man? See me, you know someone's actually talking shit in their other place, not saying, "Well, what do you, what do you mean well, by that?" Well, when you, see, a, when you see the him. guy, when you see the guy interviewing John Fury, who said that he hasn't seen his son in six weeks, and then he walks <laughs> out of the room behind him, and your man doesn't say anything, he's just uh, exactly, it doesn't yeah. happen. That's what you're up against, like. <laughs> oh, I just can't believe it. Honestly, <laughs> what a fucking knob, man! Absolute fraud. He's a front runner. He's definitely a front runner. A couple more. And a couple more videos to go. Uh, Stacey Smith. Uh, so we've got Shannon Courtney here. Well, I think it looks like Shannon Courtney. Also, I'm going to computer game uh, her version. Really? Surgery went well. Road to recovery starts now. Stacey Smith says, Jesus Christ, the wonders of facial reconstruction never ever cease to amaze. And Guy Jackson says, far too much bullying of Shannon on social media. A girl working very hard to be the best she can be. And all the people do is tear her apart. People need to look, take a hot, long, hard look at themselves, if you ask me. At Ebony Bridges, at the real Enzo Max. There you go, Vincent. Vincenzo Pecci nominating oh. that one, under. Yeah, did they? I think Ebony Bridges came back with quite a solid response. Well, she clapped that, back. Eh? Yeah, she clapped soft back. Soft cock or something she like that. Uh, called Guy Jackson so soft cock. So you could call it Guy Jackson. Yeah, or whatever. She was like, it's boxing. Yeah, soft cock. Good old Shani. What? Soft cock. She said, yeah, you're bleeding soft cock. He's flaming Goliath. Flaming. Flaming soft cock, mate. What she, what she needs, I think, Rob, is a bit of AJ philosophy or AJ answers in her life. I don't want to put words in mouth, so can I just... So don't what, say it then. No, but can I just tell you what I, uh, I made of what you just said? Yeah, yeah, that's good, okay. that's good. So my take on what you said is that you've right now got no intention of stepping aside, but... Because if, it, because of the respect? Yes. And, and it doesn't go in line with fighting the best. Very much fight, I mean, I want to fight the best. But so, from a business side, if something made side, sense for you, that's what, so, you'd consider it. So, like, we have a rule when it comes to, like, my brother and my cousin do property, and they have a rule. Cut off in his prime there, Rob, but um, I think he's losing the plot, this fella. And it goes time, yeah, something like time, quality, uh, revenue, 
and you know if you want something good done you can pay for it and it'll get it done quicker but it'll be shit but if you really want to get it done fast then you have to pay more money and all it's just like it didn't this triangle theory didn't fucking work out so while i still couldn't work out what the fuck he was trying to get across is he going to take the step aside money or not like what's all this triangle talk illuminati shit <laughs> Bang. Okay, so uh, Ben Vaughan, uh, Bell, you, I put him on the Bell of the Week list. It's the quote. Uh, she says, biggest pay-per-view in the world would be if Canelo moved all the way up to heavyweight to fight Anthony Joshua. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if it did, boom. Oh, i got to love a bit of the quote, man. I'm a fan of the quote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll show Canelo. Oh, fucking Anthony Joshua. <laughs> With the triangle well, theories. Man. In the triangle. Get the old triangle. triangle. Right. Talking triangles. Triangles. Talking to the Triangle Boys, finally on Triller. We didn't go through the full card this week. I think we did enough last week, but let's hear our final Bell of the Week nomination. It is this video, Pulev against Frank Mir. Jump in and stop it, ref. Why don't you? Jump in and stop it. And the upper body power and strength. Like the Brock Pulev, Philly up here. Oh, big right hand, and Mir's hurt. He's out on his feet. He's out on his feet. Left hook. He's out on his feet. What is Bergliano doing? He's out on his feet. This one's over. Premature stoppage, if you ask me. <laughs> Kubra Pulab with much more restraint than Dennis Lebedev. <laughs> stop it, Frank. Rob. You can stop it anytime. See, this is just going to see Jim and Frank, Rob coming out with the fucking Gatti statements. I was going to see you can stop it anytime, Frank. Stop it anytime yeah. you want. The ref last seen fucking referee in Ray Mercer versus Tommy Morrison, that's what I... Imagine if I bought a ticket, by the way. <laughs> hey, imagine if, you saw, imagine if you bought a ticket, Rob. <laughs> to the fucking, well, you would have got to see Metallica afterwards if you'd have bought a ticket, and you would have got to see fellas fighting in MMA gloves in a triangular ring. And apparently, all the boxers lost, apart from Paul Lev, if you get a few others, he got heavily defeated. So, uh, bring on the main event Shannon the Cannon versus Rampage Jackson, let's go, champ. <laughs> yeah, what, what's with Terry Harper in this trend she started? <laughs> <laughs> you're not always slightly uncomfortable Matty when you see that shall I finish them shall I not finish them sometimes they do sometimes they don't Frank Mears in the corner going do you want salt and vinegar with him yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pulev showed far more restraint than he does if there's a female reporter next to him <laughs> don't be slut shaming they said the commission said I was slut shaming <laughs> And finally, before we come out of here, I almost forgot. Uh, everyone going on about Cambosos beating Lopez last night. Uh, the greatest victory by an Australian fighter of all time. Well, I think they're forgetting a few years ago. Surely not, everybody. Surely not. <laughs> Here comes Father Dave Levy up by Tony O'Loughlin. My goodness, Tony, I've known him since <laughs> the 80s. God love him. He's been a great trainer in the Sydney region for a long, long time. Peace, you know. The punching breeze, Father Dave. I'll tell you what, what, isn't that some interest? He's actually a uh, priest. Yeah, yeah. At the veteran boxes. He always opens <laughs> up the uh, veteran boxes. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. He is a priest, yeah. So it's called Father Dave, you can't... It always gets me that one. <laughs> He's a priest. At, at least they have something that tops uh, Anthony Mundine over Shane Mosley now. You know, they have some sort of joy in their life. <laughs> or fucking, what's his name? Uh, Green over Jones. No, I thought Jeff Horn to get over Manny Pacquiao. Whether yeah, you agree yeah, with the yeah. cards or not, was the best Australian victory, mm. uh, boxing victory of all time. That's, that's a good point. But that's too not funny for this section of the show. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes. Father well, Dave you never let that stop you, Matty, so don't worry <laughs> about that. <laughs> well, actually, if you consider a controversial decision over a 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao, the greatest victory in your country's sporting history, maybe that is worthy of the value of the week within itself. <laughs> there you go, Father Dave. Bit of Father Dave to clear us out there. Right, before everyone does their... Picks, let's get on with our nominations. First of all, Matty, anything from you? Episode 451, Belly of the Week. Oh, all I had was that uh, Canelo poster and the Frank Mir knockout. Uh, that was a, a fine Canelo poster. Uh, Andy, any from you? Yeah, Tiafimo Lopez Jr. for that post-fight um, interview, saying like, that he won the fight. You know, basically got called delusional directly to his face. and He basically got challenged to you know, rematch Australia, baby. I'll have to go back to the drawing board, talk to my team. That's not a guy who wants a rematch, baby. 
and uh, Daddy as well for just like say all the shit. And oh, w- one shout out for WBC. As I say, last night was an IBF mantra, I believe it was. And the second the decision came out, the WBC's woman, I forget who she is again at this point, someone told me on Twitter that, within rapier like speed, manages to get the fucking WBC merchandise t shirt over Cambos's head literally at the <laughs> second that he got called the new champion of the world, right? Right? So, so this is an IBF man entry, right? The WBC are trying to get all their fucking tatty merchandise all out of place, their hats, their fucking t shirts. Opportunistic wankers. Someone told me that T-shirts were thirty dollars on fucking on their on their, on, on their web page. They're handing out for fuck all. So I went for WBC and that as well. They just they're everywhere, mate. They're fucking everywhere. That's, they they were the shitty medals, the fucking hats and the T-shirts and that. But for me this week, man, it's going to be Lopez Senior just for the shite that he has spoke. Called it Josh Taylor. He's called it a robbery. He shot on the zone. He has failed to prepare. He gave him the wrong advice in the corner. I mean, what to, what to, this and his guy, mother has holes in her underpants. Yeah, possibly. Uh, but this guy has spoke so much shit. Uh, he, uh, in that corner, man, he literally contradicted himself about four times in the space of forty seconds there last night. And you know, it was a, nobody can do that. It's incredible. So Lopez Senior gets my vote. And shout out as well to the white Don King, Andy, the Botox Lego sex oh, doll, doing yes. his little clapping. Be- He's always been behind now, isn't he? All he needs is some little flags. Oh, I mean, that's what he needs to do, mate. The thing is, I, th- I think as well, all we needed, needed was a knockout last night at Lopez, so we could see Eddie stepping over Lopez's body in the corner with Cambos, was clapping like a seal and that. Yeah, I'm part of the team. We? 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 You know, <laughs> that type of thing. You know, he's part of the team. It's we, George Cambos. So, uh, aye, we'll wait and see how it pans out and that. But, um, you just know, you just know that something's going to fucking pop off here. But yeah, and for, in fact, as well, he didn't have a rematch clause, you know, which is good to see. Actually, he must obviously betted on himself, and he's he's come up, he's come up short in that regard as well. So, I know over on the PBC, shout out to Brandon Figueroa, side piece as well. He might have lost in the ring, but he's definitely winning outside of the ring. Rob, any nominations from you? Uh, yeah, I had uh, one for Eddie actually. I I, I could have got the clip, but you know, get a life, <laughs> get a life. Um, but he was quite. Uh, quite rude actually to Demetrius Andrade's mother for some reason because Demetrius Andrade's mother said when there was a camera lurking Canelo's doing sucker shit moving up to fight Macabu and Eddie was like I'm not having that he is full in the year he has unified the division looking at the camera (laughs) making sure that he gets caught I'm not having that no you can't say that about Canelo how dare you Demetrius Andrade's mother question the legacy of Canelo who's definitely you know his legacy cannot be questioned and there's definitely nothing that you could bring up to taint his legacy. So uh, I thought he was a bit rude to Boo Boo's mother and staying on Boo Boo. He was under his own commentary last night and they said to him, what do you think about Canelo stepping up to fight Macabo? And he said, I was, can I curse? Because I was, I was taking a crap. And then I thought, yeah, Canelo, that's what he's doing. He's taking a crap. Uh, so, you know, fucking this guy's a superstar. Why can't we get the big fights made? Uh, <laughs> Everybody wants to know. So, uh, but yeah, it's hard to see past Lopez Senior as the winner, outright winner this week. Eddie's not giving up, though, is he? Eddie's not giving up, Rob, on that Canelo money, is he? Canelo's going to be there in his mansion and the porch light's going to go on and the wife's going to be looking out the window and they're going to be this this little figure in Armani pyjamas disappearing into the bushes. Definitely. And then at the next uh, event that they're having at Matchroom HQ in the garden, no pizzas, fajitas only. (laughs) Only fajitas. So, (laughs) and tequila. (laughs) I cannot imagine the shite he's going to come. See if he's going to take Cambosis to Australia, by the way. I cannot imagine the shite he's going to get over, right? And the Aussies are going to like, <laughs> Garth fuck Wood. off. Yeah, fucking Aussie, but fuck off, you pommy cunt. Jim McDonald says Eddie has ordered a hat with cork tassels from Amazon before the final <laughs> bell had even rung. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of Australia, mates. <laughs> oh, good old Eddie. Right, uh, Andy, you've got. Promoter. This is a promoter. <laughs> <laughs> you've gone for T.O. Senior I'm T.O. with you Andy Senior. man that that video like I said we've heard some delusional shit man but oh, he, he was tying himself up in knots I'm going the for the other thing well. as well I meant to mention they, that Avi picture you, that people see on, on YouTube there actually that I've got on my Avi there right he stood with that face I, I kid you not for about 30 or 40 seconds straight just before the way and he stood there like that by it was like he was on Ritalin or fucking wedge swedges or some sort mate he's on He's definitely on something. He's got to be on something. He's just... <laughs> There's nobody can be that thick and sound unintelligent. My, he's, he's got he's got no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Apparently, you haven't spent much time in my country. Yeah, he's a fucking knob, an absolute knob. 
Uh, yeah, Matty, Americans were all knobs. Uh, any Belly of the Week nomination from you? Who? You, oh, no, you've done your nominations. Are you, who's your I pick, you watched Steve Bayer with all Americans are <laughs> <and> knobs. <laughs> just women. paraphrasing, just paraphrasing. <laughs> <laughs> any picks from you, uh, Matty? Oh, I think it has to go to Tio Senior. It's 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 a Woo! rough one. I mean, beating out that Canelo poster was tough for me because that thing is fucking legendary. Uh, but that is, uh, yeah, we'll have to give it to Tio Senior. That's three for Tio Senior. Rob, who are you going for? Yeah, senior and, and and junior together. I think uh, junior's rant at the press post press conference. And bear in mind, he is a young fella and all that. Like, but fragile. Like, and to come on and ruin Cambos's moment like that and try to fucking say that he won the fight and all this kind of shit. Like, it, it, it he got the shit beaten out of him in certain aspects. Um. So yeah, the two of them deserve an L. And plus, he was the two of them were complaining about Lomachenko storming out of the ring. So you can't have him fucking boat raised like. At least yeah. he didn't storm out of the ring. It was worse than when Broner said he won against Pacquiao. That was so dumb. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> anyway, congratulations to you, Fimo Senior. You that are will be. Yeah, for episode 451. Just before I hand back to Matty.